Hey everyone, I'm back with another dynamic scene tutorial. This time, I want to show you how you can create an immersive exploration experience for your players. If you've ever tried to run a hex crawl or exploration style campaign, you'll know it can be hard to show what the land looks like, while also hiding locations the players haven't been to yet. Since hiding everything behind a black fog just looks bad for the map, we can instead use an image as the fog layer. I'll be using the map of Trolt from Tomb of Annihilation module to showcase this, but these principles can be used for any maps that you'd want your players to explore. Before we get started, there's two modules you'll need to download in the Foundry add-on manager. First, you'll want to pick up Image Fog, which provides the aforementioned Images Fog functionality. Second, the Less Fog module gives you the extra tools you'll need to make the fog look better for yourself and for your players. Don't forget to activate the modules in-game once you download them. Let's start by finding the right maps. We're going to want two maps, the unexplored version and the explored version. You can find the maps of Cholt in the module on D&D Beyond. The DM's version is in Chapter 2, and the player's version is in Appendix E. I changed the colors on the player's version to better differentiate between explored and unexplored. You can easily do this in Paint 3D. You can also use the player's explored version without icons for the base map, but its margins are mismatched to the original so it just looks like you're going at warp speed. It's very nauseating. You'd have to do some editing to make it work. For ease of use, we'll just be using the DM version. Personally, it's not much of an issue if the players see the names of locations before they get there, as I'd like my players to visit these places rather than narrowly miss them. So with the maps downloaded, set up a new scene. Make the explored version the background image, and the unexplored version the fog image. The chalk map is notoriously difficult to align with the grid, but if you set its dimensions to 3302 by 4458, padding percentage to 0, the grid to even hexagonal columns, the grid size to 59, and the offsets to 5 each, it'll come very close to perfect, It'll be basically unnoticeable to your players once you turn the grid opacity to 0. Now we need some tokens to track the player's progress. Make an actor and modify it however you'd like, then go to its prototype token vision settings and change its dim vision down to 0.2. This way, the token will only reveal the space it moves to and a tiny bit of adjacent spaces as well. You will also want to give all your players ownership permissions of the actor. Then place it in the scene and test it out. If there's a potential for your players to get lost, like in Cholt, you'll want to make a copy of the token that only the DM has ownership of, so that you can delete their token once they're lost and place the DM token to track the progress on your end. When they finally get their bangs again, place their token back down so they can find out where they ended up. You'll notice that the fog they have explored gets dimmer. We can change that and other settings in the less fog options. Reduce the explored darkness to zero and change the unexplored to something like 0.6. This lets you see underneath the fog is the DM, but still know where the party has and hasn't been. Also keep in mind the performance hit of these modules. If your game is sluggish, try enabling performance mode for image fog in the module settings. Plus, try turning off soft shadows and token vision animation in the core settings. Your players can individually turn these settings on and off for their client if they find the need. Finally, if you've imported the game from D&D Beyond, you can drag journal entries out onto the map to help you easily access information about locations. But that's basically it. If you liked the video, leave a like, and if you want to see more Foundry tutorials, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every week, except when my power is knocked out for the whole time. Nevertheless, thanks for watching.